Well, welcome back to Brenda Shishi Life Noting. In this episode, I'll be explaining um, this little project that I was doing. So I have this effect. This is the final result. So you can see it's actually just Suzanne, but it's arranged and also it's already um, <coughs> separated into different shapes. That's actually confirmed to the shape of Suzanne from a certain angle. Okay, so it might be slightly complicated. So let's take a look at this Suzanne, orthographic, right? Um, it's almost like if we render Suzanne and then we simply take every part of the shapes and then separating it into uh, pieces like this. So how did I do that? So basically I'm using Spreadshop um, SVG nodes. So we have mass SVG, and I simply, you know, just use the fill stroke and just simply flatten Suzanne. It's almost like uh, using freestyle back in the day uh, before Blender 2.8. Um, you can simply render as a flat SVG and turning it into a path. As a demonstration, I have Inkscape over here. So this is Suzanne that's already been turned into SVG and every polygon face is now a shape. If I use uh, something like simplify, oops, here, increase the step, you can see how I, I could turn this into some kind of artwork. I mean, each and every shape is correct and conforming to Suzanne from orthographic view. So that's what I'm doing over here. So after I save Suzanne flatten as SVG, I simply bring it back into Blender as SVG. So this is the shapes. So the shapes itself is actually correct as it is. I mean, sometimes it has problem like around the eyes here. Um, so it's not 100% perfect. But from these shapes, I can bring it back into Spreadshop. We have 500 polygon face here. And what I did was uh, just simply subdividing it, give a little bit more uh, resolutions to work with. Then here I'm kind of randomizing the shapes slightly. I mean, I also arrange the shapes using line. So we have this kind of pieces like uh, so previously I was when I was doing this, I was actually I want to have some kind of outline around Suzanne that I could uh, turn into some kind of neon graphic. So that's probably a different case. So imagine like if you have the, your 3D artwork and you just want to have the outline. So the easiest way is actually simply use grease pencil and draw the stroke. I think that's really the easiest. There is no other way unless there is a way to you know like use freestyle like I said back in the day. You use free, freestyle and you render 3D objects and then you get rid of all the outlines and you simply just want to have the, the outer outlines. You have a lot of control backs using Blender 2.79. I want to have that and turning it into more like a flat 3D. Here I actually have a, something that's similar to that idea but it's actually it's a flat but it's actually 3D and it's correct if you render Suzanne from a certain angle like from here from uh, orthographic let me check the XZ orthographic so we had a lot of processing happening here but hopefully I explain the basic so this is the final result after I solidify if 
Oh, it's probably too heavy. It's almost like a kind of like a stone stone works. I think it's kind of nice. Nice little effects. So that's pretty cut uh that's basically it. It's uh, just something for fun you can create. Inkscape is actually really cool for doing vector works. Um I wonder if Inkscape can also do like a pathfinding. So from the original artwork uh, before we do this I want to turn it simply just like a flat object see okay this is the final result see the it's kind of nice something that you might see like the inner relief of a of a temple or something all right so that's pretty uh, pretty much it. Hopefully you find this useful, interesting, let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.